Hello there, a new Sunday. Today we're going to share the way to find zero focus, both SEPCAD and HEPCAD. We'll tell them separately. If you are first time being here, please don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. It helps me a lot. Thank you. First of all, we need to know why we need to find the zero focus. It may be that all the background parameters are lost and need to be reconfigured. It may be that a new cutting head is installed. It may also be that a new focusing or collimating lens is replaced. Regardless of the control systems, the basic theory of finding the zero focus is to perform the same cutting or marking through different focal points. Suggesting a 1mm metal plate, like we cut lines from focus minus 6 to positive 2, and then we get this. We can judge from the actual results that the focus of the thinnest line is the latest zero focus. From the result, the fifth line is the thinnest. So the actual zero focus is at the current sighting positive 2 position. If a SEPCAD open machine configure tool, focus control, find the rollback distance. If the actual focus is higher than current zero focus, the distance here should be the current value minus the actual differences. According to this picture, the actual focus we get is positive 2, which is higher than the current software focus. So the rollback distance here should be 5, which is the current distance value of 7 minus 2. If the software is HAPCAD with BRT cutting head, there is a function of focus auto test. Open HAPCAD, debug, top right, there is a cat head. Click it and find the focus auto test. Click it, we could get into the interface. We need to input the values based on actual requirements. Then click Generate a File. We could say there will be cutting drawing showing here based on those values. Click Technique. We can set the parameters. All set down, click Start. The cutting will play. Finished, we could find the thinnest line and its corresponding focus. Write it here, the focus offset. Then click Write Offset Data. We could complete the steps to find the actual zero focus. Now, could you tell me how to find your zero focus after replacing the focus or collimating lenses? Hoping the answer is yes. Last step, click the link below to check our store out. A lot of laser products like protective lens, nozzles, laser saws, one or more you may need. See you next Sunday. Bye!